Nor do all monsters of today take human or animal form. There are what may be called geographical monsters. Like the Bermuda Triangle or the Ring of Fire. Or the Devil's Sea off Japan. There are also reports of monsters which inhabit the mind. Such as demons and devils. Defying exorcism. There are inexplicable mental powers, such as ESP and telepathy. Modern science, unlike the stiff-backed science of old, doesn't profess to have all the answers. Proving that something does not exist is very difficult, if not logically impossible. And until and unless indisputable proof of the existence of modern monsters appears, everyone must decide the questions for himself. But the pursuit of evidence may not take long. The world is closing in on our last strongholds of isolation, and the monsters, if they exist, will soon have no hiding place left untouched by the mainstream of civilization. Take the example of one of the most persistently evasive of modern monsters. A human-like creature which supposedly chose as its home perhaps the most inaccessible spot on earth, the heights of the Himalaya mountains. Safe for centuries, it was only a whisper about Sherpa campfires. Tales of giant footprints seen in snow and ice. Unexpected droppings by outcroppings of rocks. Or a mere shadowy figure on a high horizon. Glimpsed from time to time by travelers through a snowy pass. Had the Himalayas remained inaccessible, Reports of the creature might have never come to the public's attention. But nothing remains untouched in a shrinking world. Time crowded and even on the Himalayas. And gave us the abominable snowman.